Tough questions, new insights, diverse perspectives. Welcome to Questions of the Day with Fanuel Muindi. Greetings and welcome to Questions of the Day here on Sci TV. Well, some say that the 1989 Edinburgh International Science Festival in Scotland kicked off the modern science festival movement. Now, before we start arguing about when actually it got started, science festivals have since become a popular medium for engaging public audiences with science concepts, activities, and they come in various shapes and sizes around the world. Well, this November, the Berlin Science Week will once again be taking place on the backdrop of the International uh, Falling Wall Science Summit, which takes place annually between the 7th and 9th of November uh, in Berlin. Established in 2016, the Berlin Science Week combines in-person formats throughout Berlin and various hybrid events that are taking place at various locations. And as they state on their website, their focus is on exchange and reflection. So one of those events taking place will be the Art and Science Forum, which will highlight, and I quote, the fruitful interaction between artistic practice and scientific rigor and the way in which it can create new ways of knowledge and understanding, end quote. Now, the Berlin Science Week will take place between the 1st and 10th of November this year. So stay tuned over the next couple of weeks for our forum coverage and analysis of the various public engage engagement activities that will be taking place at the forum. Now, to kick things off, though, SciTV was recently invited to attend the press conference hosted by the organizers of the Science Week. And well, here is a special report by our very own Victoria Gonzalez. The eighth edition of the Berlin Science Week is just around the corner. To kick things off, a press conference was held to share highlights of what's in store. Creative science, precise art is the motto for the Arts and Science Forum happening here. And you can expect, uh, well, actually quite mind-blowing experience. This is everything from tiny galleries to multi-sensory performances, experiences, but also workshops and talks and comedy. Um, really, pretty much everything is going to be happening here. Bringing science and art together, which is also important because both is part of our culture and of our values. And I think this value aspect is also is also really at, at the heart of what we are doing in, in science research and innovation. The Berlin Science Week is a celebration of the intellectual exchange of scientists from all over the world. We cover a broad spectrum uh, of uh, topics. Just as an example, on November 9, we will have something on the three-dimensional um, picture of our Milky Way. This will be the starting presentation by Amina Helmi. Uh, later on, we hear something about the latest development in earthquake research. We wanted to cover this also this year in view of the earthquakes that happened. Uh, we will have something from South Africa on female uh, fear, uh, intersections of gender and, and fear in the public space. We hear news about this laser-driven fusion from the Lawrence Livermore lab in uh, California that made a splash in view of breakthrough in laser fusion. We will hear about uh, this adipositas drug from Matthias Chöp, which will help to fight adipositas. We have someone from Google to talk about uh, recent developments in AI. Of course, AI will be one of the, you know, topics that will will be covered broadly. <laughs> Chat GPT, but AI in a more general sense. We have uh, Anupa Kundo to talk about sustainable architecture, and Ulrike Malmendia from Berkeley, who will talk about uh, economic issues related to inflation. So a very broad spectrum. 
and we are looking forward to all these science events. This year's focus is on exchange and reflection, as well as exploring the idea of in-person connections, forging peace through scientific cooperation. So Berlin Science Week is really, as um, both uh, Frau Chubara and uh, Jürgen mentioned, is about building bridges and about getting people to talk to each other. And this is more important than ever in our world. And it's not only more important than, uh, you know, because it's our gut feeling that it is important. It's really research has shown that uh, really to get people to really understand each other and work together, you really get have to get them in the same space and talk to each other. So this is exactly what Berlin Science is doing, and I think we have to go beyond just uh, you know just our regional reach. Global events in politics will also be some key topics addressed throughout the week. After all, the many social challenges of our time cannot be met without science. Science has a mandate to provide answers in the many societal questions, be it in the field of ecology and climate change, digitalization, artificial intelligence or healthcare. I'm sure that the scientists involved will also find new inspiration of their work through the exchange with the participants and fellow researchers. Therefore, the Senate Department for Higher Education and Research, Health and Long-Term Care is very happy to support the Berlin Science Week this year and in the future to fulfill its important mission. This is a, a very important lesson, that scientists find a way of cooperating even in the most dramatic circumstances. So this, I think, is, fits very well within the, the context of the Falling Walls mission. Having said that, uh, the two things we are, we are uh, presenting this year are two examples of such international fruitful scientific cooperation, which allows to uh, invest the limited resources that mankind has to devote to science in a very efficient way. So cooperation is a key to efficiently invest the money that, that we have to do research. Starting on November 1st to the 10th, this event will bring together more than 500 international speakers and over 150 organizations.